This is the Let's Go Win Podcast with your host, J.M. Ryerson. What is happening, you guys? Welcome to a Tuesday tune-up. I'm J.M. Ryerson. And I'm Lisa Ryerson. How are you? I'm doing okay. Why is it okay? Like, this is a good day. We're alive. Yes. I'm doing fantastic, <laughs> but this wouldn't be uncommon. I'm happy to be breathing. It mm-hmm. feels good. I don't know why you're not in the best of moods, but hopefully we can change that today. Yeah. You're always happy? Pretty much. Very. Mm. Okay. Name the most recent time I haven't been happy. Just right before we got started. You know, I may have been irritated with you, but that doesn't mean I wasn't happy. So anyway, that's not why we're here to talk about today. Uh, We are talking about why three is the key. Now, for those of you that don't know, I am big when it comes, we, excuse me, Goose, we are big when it comes to numbers. But for me, the number three is especially important. It's something that it helps me remember things when I train, I do everything in threes. For some reason, and there's a lot of scientific backing on this, we can remember three far easier than we can the top 10 list or top five. So with all that being said, I know three is my number. Do you have a specific number? And uh, does three make sense to you? Yeah, three. I think three is my number two or one of my numbers. I like the number 11. Um you know, you can always look up angel numbers. It was the craziest thing. Actually, I'll go back real fast. I started seeing a lot of like 9 11s, 11 11s, 222, 333, 444. And I'm like, that's really weird, right? Like, ever since I looked at the clock, it was like 222, two, two, and then it'd be 333. Three. And one of my friends was like, well, have you ever looked up angel numbers? I'm like, what are you talking about? Angel numbers. And literally, I Googled angel number. 1111. And they've got a whole thing on it. It's really cool. Like how, you know, if you believe in it, it's like your spiritual guides are helping you out during this time. And I don't know, it's just cool. I like to look it up and just kind of see what message I need to learn. Sometimes it's stay positive. Imagine that. And sometimes it's like, stay patient. Or sometimes it's like, hey, you know, your spiritual guides are looking out for you. Like keep calm and carry on. You know, there's all these things. So it's been really fun to look it up for sure. Well, I think, you know, whether you believe it or you don't, I guess it's a faith thing, right? Like, for mm-hmm. instance, I know for Let's Go Win 2022 to 2033, okay? There's a lot. I don't know if I can break this all down in it to make sense to everyone. But we will be turning, I will be turning 44. You will be turning 27 again. But um, <laughs> I'll be turning 44 on 2022. 11 years later, 2033, I'll be 55. If you see all these repeating things, I just know for all the people that I personally influence or or spend time with or coach, we have an 11 year window to like kick ass. And and that doesn't mean let's go in hasn't been doing good things before and it won't do great things after 2033. But I know for my window, like that's my go. So I have 11 good years, babe. After that, I can't really commit to much more. Although (laughs) I guess I could look at 2044. Four. I don't know why. Maybe I got lazy. <laughs> You're gonna be 66. Yeah, I didn't look at it that way. Dang. I was trying to get <laughs> off on the easy route, but for whatever reason, in my brain, there's this clarity when it comes to 2022 to 2033. But getting back to the threes, uh, I learned this the hard way. And so, for instance, I've talked about on other podcasts, but if you've never heard this. One of the things that I learned painfully is writing core values. And we used to have six at one of my companies and I'm on stage and I'm going and I'm ripping off what the values are. And I get through five and I forget the sixth one. Mm -hmm. Now you would think, okay, smart guy, you can't think of it. You're one of the guys that wrote it in the room. You can't come up with all six. Here's how smart I was. I came up with a seventh one on stage that day. Okay, so not a great idea. And the reason is, if the person that literally sat in a room, wrote these core values, can't remember, how can anyone else in the company be expected to remember that? 
And so ever since that day, I went back to the drawing table, every company I've had and our family, mm -hmm. we have three core values. Now, here's the cool part. If you were to go ask the people in, uh, let's say our company or some of the other companies, it's a 90%. So instead of like being 10%, it's jumped to 90% of the people know what those core values are. Well, that's really important when it comes to operating your business a certain way. So that was the painful lesson I had to, to learn. So I, I, you were, I think, in the crowd that day. It's pretty embarrassing that I couldn't <laughs> think of all the core values. So, yeah, that's it. Well, what do you want me to say? I don't know. I thought maybe you'd have something to do. All right, I'll get into the science. Three is good. Three, I think, is palpable, right? Like, I do that with my kids. Like, here are the three things that you need to get done today. And I only give them three. Sometimes I give them ten. But that I only expect three to get done <laughs> at the end of the day. That's all they can handle. Well, so it is. So uh, uh, specific to uh, the rule of three, it applies in comedy. And that's the first thing. For whatever reason, threes are inherently funnier. So if you're trying to make a joke, you don't want to have the 10 things or five things. You want to have three. So the three amigos, the three stooges, the three musketeers, there's something about three. It's just magical. So if you're trying to be funny, you might want to look at having three. Does that tee you up to anything? Yeah. I'm just curious. Well, you know what's crazy? I just noticed something. Hmm. You know how when people tell jokes, yeah. it's always in threes, right? Like, have you ever noticed that? I mean, I have jokes for days. We don't need to talk about jokes right now. But they always, the stories are always like, uh, let's say, for example, there's, I've got a cute one, actually. Do okay. we have time for yeah, a joke? Of course we do. Okay. <laughs> So there was, um, so there's a little girl and she, her mom packed her a little bag of cookies. I'm sorry. I totally screwed it up already. There's a girl who walks to school every day. There's a little boy with a bag of cookies at sitting at the bottom of the flagpole. And so as she's walking by, he goes, Hey, if you climb up this flagpole, I'll give you this bag of cookies. That was day one, right? So she's like, okay, cool. Climbs up the flagpole, comes back down, grabs a bag of cookies, goes to school, comes home from school and goes, Hey, guess what, mom? I got a bag of cookies today. And she goes, how'd you get a bag of cookies? Well, this little boy offered me a bag of cookies to go up the flagpole and come back down. And I got my cookies. And, and the mom's irate. And she goes, honey, you can't do that. He's just trying to look at your underwear. And she goes, okay, cool. Next day, day two, does the same thing, climbs up the flagpole, gets a bag of cookies, comes back to mom and says, hey, mom, I got another bag of cookies because that little boy was there again. She goes, did you climb that flagpole again? And she goes, yeah, I did. She goes, I told you not to do it. Please don't do it again. He's just trying to look at your underwear. And she goes, okay, mom. Day three comes. She does the same thing, climbs up the flagpole, gets a bag of cookies, comes back home and goes, mom, guess what? I got another bag of cookies. That's three bags of cookies. And she goes, I told you, this is the last time I'm going to tell you, you are not to climb up that flagpole. He's just trying to look at your underwear. And she goes, oh, don't worry, mom. I didn't wear any underwear today. Very good. Very good. <laughs> right? But it's three. It and I, can, three. I have a ton of different other jokes that has three. I thought you were going with something way easier, like a priest, a rabbi, and, you know, like there's always a three there. Oh, yeah, walking into a bar. Yeah, but yeah. it's always three. So Yeah. Sorry, that was my long-winded joke. I thought it was a cute joke. It was very cute. Very cute. <laughs> Wear your underwear. Don't climb up a flagpole flag for cookies. I, I don't know. There's so many things. That, that, that's not <laughs> as innocent a joke as you really think. <laughs> You're talking about cookies and a flagpole for the love of Pete. Okay, moving forward. Uh, the second part of the interesting rule of three is that it's bound to be more satisfying. And literally, this is scientific research. So, for instance, what's one of your favorite sandwiches? <gasps> Bacon, lettuce, tomato, BLT sandwiches. A hundred percent. When we learned in school, if a fire were to happen, what were you supposed to do? Stop, drop, and roll. Uh, when it comes to the Rice Krispies, what was their theme song? It was like crispy crackle crack or something. Snap, crackle, pop. <laughs> Snap, crackle, pop. But my point is you can remember, and if you test this, you can remember the ones in threes. I don't know why it's satisfying to our brain. So again, stop, drop, and roll. You haven't probably said that in 20 some odd years. Well, since I'm only 27. Okay. <laughs> it was but it's like... been a few years, right? Yeah. Bacon, lettuce, tomato. It sounds mm -hmm. weird to be like, I'll have a bacon tomato sandwich. Like, even if you 
take the lettuce out, you're going to say, I want a BLT without the lettuce, which our son does do, which is kind of odd. But, um, well, but it's interesting to me that we can remember these things mm -hmm. through three. And the last thing is it's more effective. And that's kind of what we've been talking about. But for instance, our flag, what is it? Our flag? Yeah. Oh, uh, star stripes. What are what American... color? Oh, blue, red, red white, and blue. And blue honey. That's, <laughs> we are red, white, and blue. Sorry to put you on the spot there. Uh, to get a little more. That's all stripes, stars, and there's nothing else. <laughs> to <laughs> you totally wow. Uh, red, white, and blue, honey. That's that's our country. That's a mini. You didn't people. say colors. You said what kind well, of flag do we have? Red, white, and blue. But that's okay. <laughs> well, I know that now. Um. The Trinity, the Holy Trinity. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Okay, or Holy Spirit. Oh, <laughs> Spirit. Three strikes in baseball. If you look around, there is a fascinating thing with threes, and we can remember this. Why do I talk about this, though? The, the reason I wanted to get this to everyone is when you're talking, you brought up talking to the kids. You brought up uh, when in business, I brought up for the cultural values mm -hmm. um, specific to writing a joke or remembering, or even groups of people, they found that going out with groups, that three is more effective than let's say nine, because you mm -hmm. get to spend that quality time. So when it comes to your business or it comes to parenting, what are you doing? Are you doing the rule of five? You're doing the rule of seven, try the rule of three and just see how much more effective it is. So do you have any other thoughts or examples specific to the rule of three or maybe another <laughs> joke? No, no more jokes. I'm good. Our flag's red, white, and blue. Got it. Flag is definitely <laughs> red, white, and blue. So it's something that has been really impactful for me in business. Um, it's every lesson that you guys learn is you'll see it's, it's at least my writing that I'll put about three. And it's just fascinating to me how much more effective we can continue to re remember it, recall it, and it takes less effort and it literally rolls off the top of their tongue. So uh, we are here on StreamYard for those of you that listen to this later every Tuesday. When are we, when are we doing this? Every Tuesday? At noon Eastern Standard Time. Of course, it was about 12.03 today. That's my bad. A little technical difficulties. But I tell you that those of you that are listening to the podcast, Hop on, it's on Facebook, it's on LinkedIn, it's on Twitter, and we'd love to interact with you. So if you had like, oh yeah, I have this crazy thing about the rule of three, you can share it with us and we can talk about it with you. So uh, where else can they send some ideas? Maybe it's on the rule of three or just random thoughts. Yeah, info at letsgowin.com and then just um, comment anytime on any of our social media platforms. We'd love to hear from you. Yeah, so I last time I was trying to end it because, you know, the seasoned podcasters, they're always like, like, subscribe, and share. That's all I actually got it right. That's in three. In Weird. For some reason, <laughs> I couldn't remember that. I watched some guy the other day. He's like, look, share that shit. And I was like, that's pretty good. I'm not saying I'm going to end every episode with share that shit, but it's also in threes. <laughs> and share that shit. Yeah. Yeah, three. So share this shit. We are building this community. We are all about helping others inspire them to live their best lives. And, uh, you know, we're passionate about it. So share it with your, your people. Let them know, like, hey, we got some value from this. Even though they're talking about something crazy uh, about the rule of three or some terrible joke, really good joke. It was a great joke. I thought it was so cute. I had to keep it clean. Well, it was pretty clean. Very clean. Yeah, you don't want to like offend people. Trying not to, although <laughs> I do every once in a while. So without being offensive today, uh, share this shit, send it out to your friends, continue to build this community until next time. Remember, your mindset matters, you guys. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, right? gosh, yes. Yeah, that's on this will be, Thursday. This will broadcast be uh, by the time they said. But yeah. for those of you live, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for listening. If this content is delivering value to you, please make sure to subscribe, rate, and review us. That helps us build this community, and that is what we are all about. Building this community as big as we can, helping as many people as we can, and deliver as much value as possible. 
Be sure to head over to letsgowinpodcast.com for information on my coaching courses and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn at Let's Go Win 365. Let's go win and transcend in life. This is the Let's Go Win Podcast with your host, J.M. Ryerson.